Hello food lovers. Today I have for you an easy lentil and squash recipe. It's really healthy and delicious. And the best part is you can make a big batch of this for your meal prep for the week and if there are leftovers from it you can freeze it for later use. So let's get started. I'll start by soaking 1 cup of lentil in water for about 20 to 25 minutes. The reason I soak it is because it's much easier for the body to digest it. But if you are in a rush, you can totally skip this step. And simply wash the lentils thoroughly with water before you cook it. If you notice the lentils have doubled in size, go ahead and drain it. Rinse it well and set it aside. Also here I have approximately 500 grams of squash. Cut it roughly into 1 inch cubes. Now you can use any squash or pumpkin of your choice. I usually use butternut or acorn squash for my cooking. Moving on. To a heated pan, add 3 tablespoons of oil. To this add 1 cup of finely chopped onion and half a teaspoon of salt. Mix it well and stir fry it for about 4 to 5 minutes or until the onion starts to brown on medium high heat. If you notice the onion has started to caramelize. At this point add 1 tablespoon of minced ginger, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic and cook it for a minute or so to get rid of the raw flavor of the ginger and garlic. Now add half a cup of tomato puree, mix it and then we'll add the spices. Add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of ground cumin, 1 teaspoon of ground coriander and 1 fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now if you don't like your food spicy, skip the cayenne pepper. Mix it well and cook it for another minute or so until fragrant. Make sure to stir it constantly. If at any point you think the pan is getting overheated, reduce the heat. In goes the squash. And then add the red lentil we had soaked earlier. 4 cups of water or unsalted vegetable broth. Now both of these work equally well for this recipe. I typically use water. Salt to taste. For your reference, I am using 1 teaspoon of salt. Mix it well and turn the heat to high and bring it to a rigorous boil. If you notice it has started to boil. At this point cover the lid and let it cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the lentils are cooked on low heat. Now if you want more texture cook it for 20 minutes but if you like your lentils creamy cook it for 25 minutes or longer. It's totally up to you. It's been 20 minutes. Open the lid and check to see if the lentils are cooked. If not, cover it and cook it for a bit longer. Personally, I like the lentils to have some texture, so this is good for me. Mix it. The lentil may be a little watery at this point, so turn up the heat to medium and continue cooking. Now it's totally up to you how liquidy or thick you want the lentils to be. Now what I like to do is to whisk the lentil with the tip of the spatula for a couple minutes. What this does is breaks the lentil a little bit and makes it creamy. Mm -hmm. 
taste it for seasoning. It surely needs some salt, so I'll go ahead and add some. For your reference, I'm adding 1 4th teaspoon of salt. Mix it well. This looks good. Turn off the heat and then garnish it with half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one or two teaspoons of lemon or lime juice, some finely chopped parsley or cilantro, about one third of a cup, and a good drizzle of olive oil, about two tablespoons. Now I really insist that you use a good quality olive oil. Here I'm using some organic cold press olive oil. Mix it well. All done and ready to eat. Now this is the consistency we are looking for. It is not too runny yet not too thick. Cover it and set it aside. As I mentioned earlier, you can make a batch of this ahead of time and you can also freeze a portion of it for later use. Such a simple recipe and so delicious. I really hope you'll try this recipe. And if you like it, please share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe. For the list of ingredients and their exact measurements, please see the description box below.